We have learned earlier that sound travels in waves and that it has an amplitude, a wavelength and that it travels at a certain frequency. In this video, let us examine the differences between analog and digital audio signal. An analog signal is a continuous signal that varies depending on factors such as amplitude and wavelength. It's like the knob on your grandmother's radio set. This knob increases the volume slowly from anywhere between 0 to 1 and again anywhere between 1 and 2. The analog signal is something like this. It's continuous. Digital, on the other hand, implies the use of digits. A digital signal is non-continuous, having discrete values. In fact, it has only two values, 0 and 1. Like a light switch. It can either switch off or on, 0 or 1. In other words, a digital signal is non-continuous. Like the light switch, it's either there or not there. Switch on, switch off. Say you are sitting in a room listening to some music from two speakers. The audio from the left speaker hits the left ear and the audio from the right speaker the right ear. It's also possible that you will listen to some audio from either of the speakers with the other ear. Say you are listening to violin from the left speaker and tabla from the right speaker. You are basically listening to stereo audio. This is because the violin has been panned left and the tabla to the right. It is also possible that you listen to both the violin and tabla together from both speakers. In this case, you are listening to a mono audio track. Let me demonstrate how panning is done during editing. Ok, I have imported a violin track and a tabla track into Audacity and uh, let's play them both together and see what happens. You can see that both of them are playing in both the channels. Now, let me mute the tabla channel and just play the violin track. You will see that the violin track is playing in both the channels, the left and the right speakers. Now, let me just reverse the whole thing. I'll just play the tabla track now. Okay, now the tabla track also is playing in both the speakers. Now, let me pan the violin track to the right and retain the panning of the tabla track in the center and let's play it back and see what happens. Okay, that may not be a very great uh, way of, uh, uh, you know, making out the difference. So I'll just mute the tabla track and now play the violin track. You will see the difference. You will only see, you will only hear the violin track playing on the right speaker. See here, it's only playing on the right speaker. Now, let me pan it to the center and then play it back. Now it seems to be playing on both the tracks. Now what I'll do is I'll mute the violin track and pan the tabla track to the left and then play both of them together. You see the difference now? You can only hear the tabla track on the left speaker whereas you will listen to the violin track on both the speakers. 
that's what panning does to an audio you can you can pan the audio specific audio tracks onto the left or to the right and when you mix them down they will all be heard when you mix them down and you export them they will all be heard as discrete tracks on both the speakers